Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about what happened in 71,000 BC, before Common Era. So now let's get straight to it. Food hunting is one of the most important activities in our world. It plays an important role to push along human evolution. Did you know that bow and arrow are the next hunting technology after the spears? The earliest bow and arrow invented has been dated to around 71,000 BC in the Paleolithic Age. Based on the archaeological discovery of arrowheads and cave paintings in South Africa's Pinnacle Point Cave by 71,000 BC, researchers assume prehistoric people used self bows and arrows for hunting. The collection of small stone blades, about an inch big, that resemble arrow points, are the signs of complex tool making by early humans. Some researchers view this ability as central to human intellect, as the making of blades involved multi-steps, such as gathering stones, heating stones over fire, and carefully cutting stones into blades. Also, new studies found the blades discovered throughout a geological section of Pinnacle Point were around 71,000 to 60,000 BC. This means similar blades had existed for nearly 11,000 years. The researchers further suggested that early humans had intelligence to communicate complicated instructions across hundreds of generations, which contributed to the long-term maintenance of cultural tradition. Hunting animals was a risky activity. The invention of the bow and arrow enabled our ancestors to hunt with added precision. They could carry many arrows and bring down prey at long range and was possible with spears. Did you know that the Holmegard bow is the oldest bow ever discovered? It was found in the Peat Bogs Holmegard in the east of Denmark and has been dated to around 7000 BC in the Mesolithic era. And the earliest people known to have regularly used bows and arrows were the ancient Egyptians. They adopted archery around 3000 BC for hunting and warfare. Bow and arrow were the primary weapon from ancient times through the Middle Ages in Europe and the Mediterranean. They were the main weapon in areas such as China and Japan too. The longbow first arrived in Europe around 3000 BC and appeared in the Battle of Somerset, England in 2690 BC. With the tall of 6 feet, it had a max effective range of 320 meters when fired by a skilled archer. The invention of the composite bow was known in China from at least the Shang Dynasty around 1700 to 1100 BC. It is a traditional bow made from horn, wood, and sinew laminated together. The Mongol composite bow changed the course of history in one fell swoop in the hands of Genghis Khan. His version of the bow was designed to be shot on the horseback. Historically, the bowstrings were made of animal gut, and bows were made of any springy material, such as bamboo and wood. Arrows were made of wood from a variety of trees such as cherry, ash, cedar, oak, and hickory. Also, different cultures made bows differently. For example, some ancient Japanese bows were made of horn or whalebone, whereas Eskimos' composite bows were made of wood and bone with sinew. The English longbow from the Middle Ages typically had strings made of hemp or linen, while Turkish and Arab bowstrings were made of silk and mohair. These days, the materials have evolved, and bows are mostly made of laminated wood, fiberglass, metal, and carbon fiber. Arrows are made of metal, aluminum alloy or carbon for strength, agility and speed. In the 13th and 14th century, an archery was the core of the English military. In 1363, English kings forced people to practice archery on Sundays and even holidays. Bow and arrow were the primary ancient military weapon until around the 16th century, they became obsolete and replaced by the more powerful and sophisticated firearms. Today, bow and arrow are no longer used in war. They have become a hobby or mostly used in the sport of archery. Also, they are used occasionally for hunting in certain remote areas and among tribes. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.